All right, quick audio check by pulling up my channel on my phone, and then we will start the video. Go to my channel, click my face, and load, load, load. Come on, load faster, load faster. Alright, uh, why aren't you loading? Alright, so, audio seems good, camera feed is going, obviously I have Terraria pulled up in the background and we will start that momentarily. Uh, quick forward, I have ordered a new PC and we will be getting rid of the, well, not get, <clears throat> not getting rid of, but we will be altering from the laptop to the PC when it gets here. And I'll probably like do like an unboxing and set up and everything like that well, by recording with the laptop while I set everything up. But uh, so a big shout out to my wife who made the money capable so that we could go and buy this PC. Uh, it will be here on Tuesday. We ordered it from Amazon. Uh, it's about a mid-grade PC, but that's okay. It's upgradable. It has the ability to buy new parts and swap them out. Uh, what makes it a mid-grade is it's going to have a Risen 5 instead of an i7. But it's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got Windows 11. It's got 3 terabytes of storage. The graphics card itself has 8 gigs of RAM on it, and it's going to be a 3060 Ti. So, you know, just in general, a very substantial upgrade to this laptop. Because uh, this laptop only has 8 gigs of RAM and no RAM on the graphics card. And the graphics card itself on the laptop is a 1600. So, it's, I've had this for several years and it is way out of date. Alright, let's go ahead and start up the uh, Terraria bit. It'll be playing on... Overnight Joe, and uh, let's see, it was this one, Murky Sector. Yes, Murky Sector. I have my Enchanted Sword, which I was very lucky to find. Now, one of the things I did do is I have gone and on another, on a uh, Corruption World instead of the Crimson World I'm on, I did a bunch of fishing quests and unlock them for my duplication. So, he wants a mutant flinks fin. I don't think I have that one. We'll see. But I did unlock several of the uh, quest fish for duplication. Yeah, hey, I do have it. Okay. I know there's like six of them that I don't have, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and, while we're here, uh, I know the chest needs it, but does anything else need it? Bait. Fisherman's pocket guide. Chest. Some more spelunker potions. Throwing knights. I have a horseshoe. Uh, I need two more dart traps. And then I'll be able to set up a farming area. Which I want to go and start setting that up before hard mode. Uh, bee mine cart. Staff of regrowth. Stinger. Bomb. Oh, let's go ahead and use this. Because I need to... Add more life. We'll work on researching it later. So see eyeball. Blink root. Jungle torch. 
Any jungle spores. I need to go finish exploring the jungle. And some vines. Now one of the things, or one of the reasons I need to go finish exploring the jungle is because... Uh, let me pull it up on the... Right, zoom out here. Okay, jungle's over this way. Uh, one of the reasons I need to do that is because... A, it's got a uh, weapon I need for eventually unlocking the all-powerful Zenith weapon. But also, it's got another set for armor and stuff. Uh, we are playing... This is a melee build, so... Why is this... Like that. There we go. Out of the hole. Okay, over to the jungle. Hit that guy in the face. Well, eventually, I'll be able to make sussy eyeballs after I get enough lenses. I'm down here, come and get me. Ooh, that was close, I almost ran face first into that zombie. So I need stingers and jungle spores. through the corruption, which I will uh, have to purify. Yeah, come and get it. Ha! Cusplant. Working my way through. This is where I put my, uh, my gappy. Oh shit. I did not realize that uh, I did not light up my gap. And I don't like going into the dark. For obvious reasons. Going into the dark will lead to my death when I can't see what's coming to get me. You must always have lights when you explore. Alright. Smack the piranha. Hey, he gave me a compass. Apparently I've already gotten one. This one's a hasty piece. Alright, I'll get the hell out of my way. I got shit to do. Go through the area I've already seen. Uh, all right, it looks like I could just go around this area and I'll probably be okay. Let's do that. Get my silver pickaxe. Obviously, eventually I'll have to go through my uh, evil biome. So that I can kill the boss there. But I think my first goal should be to get what I need out of the jungle. Ha! 
Got it. Plan that almost perfectly. Uh, Hermes boots, bomb I need. Mining potion, torsholes, monies. Always get the monies. Ooh, life crystal. Other life crystal. Multiple life crystals. Always a good thing. Alright, I have 140 health, so I need to use these two. And I need one more, and then I'll unlock goblin invasion. do I need for unlocking? 12? Jesus, cram it. flood this area, which is fine. It's okay to flood that area. Oh, I forgot exactly how much water there was around here. And so instead we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna go this way. A little longer overall, but a lot safer. Much better to be safe. That way I don't drown myself and lose all my monies. Which I suppose is not a big deal if that even if that did happen. Just for the simple fact I can duplicate money. Hello. Old big old area down here. Let's go for it. If I can get out of the hole. There we go. And again, guys, new PC will be here on Tuesday, and then I can start doing, like, Lost Ark stuff again, where my PC will actually be able to handle it. for the stinger. You can die because you're in the way. Ooh, you dropped the coffee. Now in real life, I don't drink coffee because coffee is gross. But in the game, I might as well. Might as well get it. Ow! I just had a boulder dropped on my head. It's got to be demonite. Contain something like that. There's a trail. Let's ride it. Hopefully, I don't accidentally put a torch on the queen bee thing. That's right, I jumped over you. What you gonna do about it? I'll come back down to this in a minute. Because I need a life crystal. And we'll use said life crystal. 
now I have unlocked the ability for goblin invasions. Which I will need. So I can get the goblin. What's in my chest? Ooh, a boomstick. It's too bad I'm not playing a ranged build. Hello, Stella. mapped out this one way. I hear you coming. When you do, you're gonna get stabbed in the face. Ha! Told you. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and click duplicate on the gold brick. Let's go ahead and put this in the, the thing. Research the boomstick. Research the healing potion. Research the coffee. Dark trap. I'm going to need a lot of stingers. Research even more bombs. Research mud blocks. Torch. Wish mahogany. Vicious mushroom. Vertebra. Door. Lenses. Later, you son of a biscuit. Again, I hope I don't accidentally put a uh, torch in the beehive and summon the queen bee because I'm not ready to fight her yet. Alright, time for more torches. Hello, Jungle Temple. Now, for later purposes, we're going to uh, make our, our way around the outside of this thing. Let's go ahead and light things up. Because we're going to go find where the entrance is. And then I'm going to dig a tunnel straight up. And that's going to be like a, uh, a thing. So that I can just... When I get to the point where I want to go in the temple. I can just go right in the temple. Entrance. Ow, there 
there's definitely a trap there. Take the pressure plate out of there. Make my make my life easier later. Going to go right up this way. Y'all can jump at me all you want. You're not going to be able to get to me. Giant chili. Oh! Oh, that was, that was a bad move on my part. I should have been thinking about that. Was a bird for a second. I was very concerned as to why I didn't take any damage running into it. And I was like, oh, it's a skull. Okay. That makes sense. could be playing Vampire Survivors instead as well, but uh, given that I've already basically unlocked everything on the game, I don't really feel like playing it right now. Whereas, even though I've already done everything on Terraria, it's still just kind of... It's fun to go around and actually do the gameplay challenges. Alright, so let's get in where I was. Definitely mistaken. But that's okay, we'll just go down through here anyway. And. Ah! It came flying at me and knocked me off my perch. Die! Die! Hello? I don't think I've opened you yet. Oh, I guess I did. Why are you so aggressive, bees? Ooh, a, uh, a thing. I need one of those. Technically, I need two of those. Given that it should already be disarmed. Okay, I need that. Dynamite. Jester's arrow. Flaming arrow. Speedlunker potion. And let's go ahead and research those. I can now put traps on my little apartment building. Mushroom, torch, uh, we'll keep that for now.
right in the bottom. More Splunker pushing. Okay. Jungle bat, you can do better. Oh, look, jungle spores. We'll go, I'll go over there and get those in just a minute. This way. I'll go get some jungle spores. This is also beneficial for just in general mapping out the jungle. Jungle spores acquired. Uh, that looks like a dead man's chest again. Nope, just regular gold. Ooh, platinum bar. Healing potion. Gravity potion. Danger sense. Some more torches. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and map this out real quick. Definitely a trap. Mirror I already have. Alright, none of those are really worth it. Down we go! Good, now I can start duplicating these. Well, I need like seven more of them before I can start duplicating them. Woohoo, jungle spores! Must get spores! So much unnecessary difficulty. How many of these do I have now? Where's my spores at? Five! Good. The uh, main issue with this is not in the way. Down. And let's dig our way up. And we'll get those spores on the left. Spores. 
Now the fun part. Let's see, do I have a bucket? I do. So we need one bucket. And now it's a honey bucket. And now I can duplicate it. Now the other thing is, uh, honey provides a life regen buff. That's what I meant to do. And there we go. Some left to see. And the diggy diggy hole. Move my hair out of the way. Getting back up into where the jungle is normal. I've already been this way once. Now ordinarily I wouldn't be doing this at this stage in the game. But because I found the uh, jungle temple early, I was like, all right, let's go ahead and get it done. Did you think I didn't see you coming, ghost? I did. I knew you were there. Cause I was there and I saw what you did. I saw it with my own two feet. We have made our hole. And now, as a test, I don't know why I, why I did that. We're just going to go ahead and glide down and light it up.
punk. Ooh, jungle grass seeds. I need those. Ah, that was not what I meant to do. Thank God I didn't actually hit the platform that the thing was on. Okay, this is what I meant to do. And that leads us all the way down here. Eh, let's go ahead and get these uh, honey blocks out of the way. What you want? You want more food in your bowl? Is that it? All right, I'll go. For, I'll go give you some food. Normally, when you go for the elbows, it's because you want food. Ugh. Probably a better idea for me to stand up right now, anyway. My legs are starting to get stiff. We're back. The cat has been fed. Use my headphones to tuck my hair out of my face. I still gotta go and get a haircut, damn it. Hey, we have our first duplicatable grave. Workbench. Statue. Block. All right, so now that we've made our little area, we gotta just farm some stingers and I gotta go find more spores. Let's go ahead and farm some honey blocks. Oh god, I'm slow. Easy honey block farm. Unlocked our honey blocks. I need a bunch more stingers. Uh, you're trash, I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Keep that. 
Don't care. Don't care. Don't care about the mud blocks, glow sticks. Research the moon glow. Six more of those. Jungle torches. Dajour potion. Healing potion. Need four more platinum bars and nine more of those. Hold on to that for a minute. Sorted. All right, let's go look for spores. And also slimes like this. There's a dark trap there. Gold bricks for me. up the walls. Spike slime. Why did you have spores of all things? That does not make sense. Stinger. Connect, connect the walls. Squirrel statue. Oh, it's a mouse statue. I wonder what kind of bait I can get from those. There we go. And... Let's go this way! I see spores! I'm spore obsessed. I thought I was going to go through the water, but you were wrong. I'm going this way. Got some spores. Let's go ahead and head up the area. There's a lot of water up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Regen buff. Go! Let's get my health back. Alright, that should be okay for now. Alright. Hello, I'm right here. Come and get me. Spores, spores located. How many of these do I have now? Where's my spores at? What do you want now? I already gave you food. Alright, I need one more spore sack. You're not a spore sack. What do you want? What do you want, kitty? Tell me what you want. I have nothing for you. I don't give pets. You know this. The only pets that are given are taken from me. By animals that sit on my lap. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo, that was close. This was not my plan. Oh dear. placement for you. Oh, fuck off, B. Ah, oh, you bitch. Bitch Queen Bee. Oh, this this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I'm probably gonna die. I, I, I just don't have... Yep. I just didn't have the health for it. I wasn't prepared for it. When the, the thing went kersplat, I was like, oh, this is, this is bad. All right. You. Need ten more of those. So I need two more of those. 
take the nature kit. I will save those for just a moment. Because now we're. Before we uh, do anything else, we're going to go down. Then down. And down some more. Until right about here. Apparently I found another ruby area. It's very handy. But the specific thing we are going to do is take as, as long as we can this way. This should be the uh, cavern layer. long area here well, apparently there is a whole big ass lake here so We're going to have to drain it. Uh, let's see, what kind of potions do I have unlocked? Lesser healing, mana, recall. Consumables. There we go. That's the one. All right. Uh, not many. Okay. And let's dig something around here. It's coming after me. Diggy diggy hole as much as we can. Oh, this is bad. Huh. I have a whole freaking underground lake here. Cause what the shit? Even more of an underground lake. Let's let's warp back up. I have a different idea. How much do I have? Some gold? I do. Okay. We're gonna go to the demolitionist. All right, your wrist. I'm gonna buy as much of this as I can. And then we're gonna duplicate it. All right, downscaling the apartment and going down this way. Now we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to take our dynamite and we're going to blow this place straight to hell. Let's see uh, how far down that got us. Stupid piranhas. Let's get our 
dynamite. Uh, do that before I die. Down and down and down we go. Alright, that should hopefully be enough to get it to drain out some. Even more so than I do this. Sassiabo, Platinum Bar, finally, Flaming Arrow, Undead Miner down here. Black slime, that's why I couldn't find it. Okay, so I do get some obs some obsidian. Fresh air. Let's go get our obsidian. Drain away. Well, that's enough of uh, that for now. All these under underground lakes. Go ahead and get this over right here. No, oh, it's silver ore. Not even good ore. I was hoping it was going to be platinum.
very easy. And it's one I've already uh, unlocked. Duplication of. Fuck out of here, skeleton. Okay, so here's where I was going. Here, we'll dig down a bit. And this is why I have my mining hat so that I can see what the hell I'm doing. We're going to start the underground jungle farm. Poisoned me. We'll just call it from a little bit above the roof here. Tiny slimes. All right. One, two, three, four. What? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. What? What? Alright, what the hell does this cat want? She's being really insistent. Alright, show me what you want. What do you want? What do you want?
You weren't supposed to come back in. I don't have time for your bullcrap. You have food, you have water. You have a bathroom. There's no visible indication of anything wrong. What do you want? Show me what you want. Alright, I don't know what the hell is wrong with that cat. Way too desperate for attention. She got food, she got plenty of clean water. There's nothing wrong with her. I don't know, man. She's just being crazy. to do, but it will. Alright. One more dynamite. Get the hell away from the dynamite. <laughs> Last thing I need is to blow myself up. Almost got our outline for our underground jungle setup. I just gotta finish hollowing it out. I'm killing these stupid cave bats.
okay. We are nice and hollowed out. And cave back and die. And sail over here. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to get, let's turn off consumables, some good old Mississippi mud. And we'll just make this the top layer. I'll just come over this way. We want... Whoop, Get out of here. We want to go not quite all the way over here. And then we need to come over this way. Ah, crap. Okay. And make this. Turn that, turn that off. Make this the outside edge. Let me just take this. Go all the way down. To right about here. Now I just go back across. Like so. To right about here. Now we could, if we want to make this a really fast filling jungle thing, do the honeycomb method, but that's not what I'm going to do. Instead, what I'm going to do is make it big enough that I can come through with a mount. Gonna fill this in with mud lines like so. We're just gonna do this all the way across. Since I don't care about the speed at which uh, it's going to convert to a jungle, we're just going to do the uh, good old fashioned plant one and watch it grow method. So just go ahead and do this. So one there. And we'll probably do one a little closer to the bottom. And eventually, that mud grass or that jungle grass will <clears throat> take over on the mud blocks and count as jungle tiles. Get out of here. And the reason we do it in the underground layer. is because that is where life fruits can grow. Uh, but you can't get life fruits until after you defeat the mechanical bosses. Yeah. 
Now, one of the things that's cool about doing this in journey mode is they have a time skip thing built in. So what I can do is showcase the uh, growth after I do a couple of time skips, which we will do. Ah! And eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, actuators and wires in so that I can just flip a switch after I unlock the mechanics, of course. And uh, all the plants will break so all the life fruits and baits and everything will fall to the bottom. Then I can just, after I unlock the steampunker, put a conveyor belt down there right under the bottom row and it will just put it all right to where I'm standing. Makes it a nice even amount. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this over this way. Now the honeycomb method uh, is basically. If you, like, say, with mushroom grass seeds, and mushroom grass seeds especially more than jungle grass seeds, but you would do, it's like, one, two, three, four, and so, and skip this one, and then, so, obviously, with the honeycomb method, I can't do it as well, but, so, like, one here, one here. So as you can see, it makes a little honeycomb here. And you would do, like, put it on this one. And then it can grow from this one, to 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 this one, all in one motion. So now, as we can see, I have my two jungle grass seeds planted. So let's go ahead and... Put this over here. Put this back here. That's warp. Uh, do I have a watch? I think I made one earlier. I did. I made a gold one earlier. Let's go ahead and put that there. So currently it's 8.15. So if I use the uh, time menu, which I don't normally, and we go to noon, wait for it to tick, and then change it to six. Now we, if we jump down here to my little improv jungle farm that I'm starting up, ah, it hasn't grown any. Weird. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Do I have flower boots? Let's go ahead and equip those. Now, with the with the flower boots, let's go ahead and warp up to the jungle. As you can see, it's making flowers grow on all these that aren't already having a thing on the tile. Doesn't work on desert sand and it should, if I'm not mistaken, work on the corruption as well. We'll see. One star. But so like you can you can just go back and forth and get seeds pretty quickly that way. So 
Okay, it does not work on the uh, the evil biome grass. But it does work on jungle grass. And that's what we're going to do. Now, if I have, for example, a flare gun... Let's go ahead and go this way. Or a yo-yo. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and knock out some inventory space here. Don't need that. Uh, hold on to that. I don't care about the pressure plate. Junk. 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 Research. Junk. Research. 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 Second. Research the sassy apple. I know I need two more of those. Sort. Now, as I was saying, uh, let's see, do I have a flare gun? I do not. Do I have a yo-yo? I have a yo-yo string. What do I have in weapons? Uh, mace will work for this. So let's put that instead of the axe. And you just double tap back and forth. And as you can tell, it is breaking them a lot. things you can do is just walk back and forth while holding it in place, which is a lot easier when there's not a bunch of zombies around. Let's see, I got another jungle grass scene. And it breaks it very, very fast. I just wait for this guy to smack into the mace until he dies. But the reason why flares are uh, very useful for this is that the flare just stays in one place and constantly does damage to whatever's on the grass. So I can literally just stand there and it'll constantly break and reform. So we've got some more jungle grass seeds now. And now we can go to a safer area. Namely my little farm. Now it's almost midnight. So by the time I get down there, we'll see if any of it has grown in. It is not, but that's okay. So we have four seeds now. That was not what I meant to do. God damn it. That was a brain fart. So we're just going to go one, two, three, 
before. I'm just going to do this until I get to, I think it's 25 seeds. Lawnmower, basically. 10, 11. Twelve. Now there is another method for this, and I'm going to uh, pull up my internet real quick. Uh, that's not my internet, but that will work. And we go to Le Googly. Jungle. Grass. Seed. Farm. Oh, what's this on, on Reddit? I have two notifications. No, it's just content recommendations. Blech. Farm Alright, uh, so it seems a lot of the old methods were nerfed, but it's basically, uh, you would shoot it with a flare and then it would insta-break, which would make your boots trigger, which would le cause a feedback loop. Alright, we're going to just get back to the game, because it's boring. There we go. All right, we're at 15. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Make 
17. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Need two more. Twenty-four. One more. Twenty-five. Now I can duplicate them and then just fill this in automatically. And blink. And now we go to jungle and now we have 999 of them as well as some some bugs for bait let's go ahead and catch them and now what we can do because they don't have an easy way to spread seeds unfortunately is we just do this and run back. And now that it's officially jungle, now you just saw it actually grow there. And run across. And run back. that shit out of here. And run across. And fill her in. And the reason we do this is because this can produce jungle spores. It obviously will not produce them on ones that I'm growing with the flower boots. As exhibited by the fact. Uh, let's go ahead and take the, the flower boots off. While they're good for farming seeds, they're not good for much else except for cosmetics. Get out of here, jungle bat. And you can tell that it's a jungle now because if I hold out my torch, you can see it's a green jungle torch now. Because jungle grass counts for spreading jungle. We have our little artificial biome now. The one that is really, really fast if you do the honeycomb method is the uh, <clears throat> glowing mushrooms. Which I will set a, a farm for eventually. And I just go this way. And as 
exhibited here. Obviously the one I planted here before has spread a bit. We won't do anything on that road just so I can show it. So obviously as you can see this one is spread from being planted here, over one this way, up this way, around this way, etc, etc. So now let's go ahead and spread it. And then when I drop down a row, I'll clear out my little honeycomb. Now, even if I uh, just left it alone, eventually all this mud would convert to jungle grass because it uh, would grow down the sides. And then across. Now the only bad part about doing it this way without doing like, for example, a uh, stone layer underneath each grass layer is that vines can grow on it, which will interfere with your desired jungle plants. But that's only a concern for much, much later. It's not a concern for right now. My concern for right now is killing this bee. I'm getting a stinger. Oh look, we have a jungle spore. As you can see, plants grow on jungle grass very fast. Boots or no. And we have our jungle spore duplication unlocked. Now I just need to get the uh, stingers unlocked and we can continue. This is probably, uh, what I have right now is probably good enough for fighting a sussy eyeball, but AKA I have Cthulhu. So we have our D in here, and we shoot him in the face. Uh, now, frequently, what I normally like to do for jungle, if I'm doing it for just like the bait farm and stuff like that, is I will put a wall in the background so that the enemies cannot spawn. That is not what I was doing on this one. Alright, so I can't go out that way. Uh, let's go out this way. Eight more stingers. Uh, let's go ahead and get some platinum bars real quick. Just get a stack of platinum bars. Let's make some platinum armor. Crafting. Platinum helmet. Platinum chest plate. Platinum feet. Make a platinum crown so I can make a slime crown. And 
Wait, I don't have a platinum pickaxe option? Do I not have any wood? No, oh, I don't have any wood on me. That would explain why. Well, let's just make some wood. And that changes so I can now make a platinum pickaxe. Which has 59% pickaxe versus 45. Now we will just do that there. Research it even though I don't need to. Five research the platinum crown. Research buggy. Rain hat. Ruby. Rain coat. Search the silver X, pick X, and do 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 We're just going to light up the, the back wall of this real quick. It doesn't really help with the front of it, but that's okay. Thank you for your stinger, Mr. Wuss. Hey, we've got three stingers now. I just need five more. And we just move down a little. Have a bee and a slime. All right, two more to go. Oh, look, two little bees. should be two. Yep. Power! That's all we need. Ah, god damn it. That's fine. It's easily fixable. That's why I don't normally carry dynamite. Because I do stupid shit like that with it. going to do is go over here and we take our jungle spores, our st 
fingers and some vines. And now we can make the blade of grass, which I'll need for later. And also the thorn chakra, which I will use for the boss. Uh, so the jungle set is, if I'm not mistaken, a magic set, which I'm not really looking for. But we have what we need. So let's just go ahead and research the blade of grass. Take this stupid mace off. So now... I have something I can throw at the boss. So we will kill the sussy eyeball when it gets to the night time. Let's go ahead and pull out a sussy eyeball for us to kill. One sussy eyeball. stuff in the chest and let's go and go this way Now, so the unpleasant thorn chakram does slightly more than the enchanted sword, but does not fire as fast. However, if, if they get close enough, it will actually fire faster. Zone of Denial. Let's get beyond the corruption here. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. But we're not going to the jungle. No, we're going over this way. Almost away past the jungle. It's so far away. Give me that frog. I wonder what I can make with that, make out of frogs. We'll see. And go, get out of the water. Go, 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 go.
Now, with the breathing read, I should be able to get all the way to the end. We'll see. Maybe I'll put that uh, here instead of my little Because that extends my breathing time. here by a beach and in a little over a couple of minutes we will st we will fight the sussy eyeball and that's probably where I'll call it because I'm starting to get stiff Ugh. it's my sussy eyeball beater right here thorn tuck room Now, one of the things you can do while we're here, so we're just gonna make some platform layers. For artful dodging purposes. go to fight the moon lord I will have a special arena as well get out of here crab I'm so fast faster than ever all right and boom come here eyeball I jump into it. That doesn't make any sense. And he's down. And he gave me crimson seeds. And a jellyfish necklace. I'll put that on. Why not? And he gave me 90 crimtainor. So we'll, we'll beat his butt again real quick. Let me uh, get my, my sussy eyeball out. Because I need 100 crimtain over. That's right, come on. Come and get me. Now. And there we go. That's a hundred crimtain over. The reason I need crimtain over is for making crimtain bars. And eventually. I will have to go into the heart of the corruption. That's not what I need to do. And get tissue samples. Did 
So let's go with. There you go. Get some some more crimson ore. And just make a bunch of crimson bars. And there we go. Uh, because with the brain of Cthulhu, or not, who's the boss of the crimson, he will drop tissue samples. Oops. That I need to make the Deathbringer pickaxe so that I can start working my way downstairs, as it were. Die, Mr. Owl. So we have now killed the sussy eyeball. Let's go into the uh, heart of the, the crimson here. Let's see, can I can I mine this stuff? Nope. We're gonna go down this way into the heart of the crimson. Alright. Ooh. Life crystal. I think I should do uh, Go ahead and make a, a platform arena here, too. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. I did not mean to put little extra steps in it, but oh well. There we go. Alright. Now let's Go ahead and jump out of here. What did you give me? Ah, the ratted fork. Very good. Pokey stick. So down this little hole. Actually, let's not use this hole. That's a little too hard to get out of before the boss fight. Let's use this little hole. Even if I die, the, the point here isn't to kill the boss. The point here is to, to farm these little things for tissue samples. If I manage to kill the boss, great. If I don't, then I will. Ah. No! No! 
Go away. Leave me be. My name is not Jim Bob. Well, I killed the boss. Right as meteorite landed. So we have Panic Necklace. And we have our tissue samples. Alright, let's get the hell out of the, uh, the crimson. Go, 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 go. I said go, 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 go. We have now killed the first two bosses. I am not quite conf confident in my ability to take on Skeletron yet, though. I normally mine some Hellstone and stuff first before I do that. Alright. Uh, so, now we're going to make our damage set. By going with Crim, Tain Bar, and Tissue Symbol. And we come over here to the Blacksmith Panel. Make a Deathbringer Pickaxe. I don't care about the fishing bowl. Make a big old X. Make a sword. Make a helmet. Make a chest plate. Make a paint. No, uh, I don't need a hammer, but I will make I will make the meatball. Meatball is very handy to have. Because what the meatball does is uh, on hit, if I'm not mistaken, it spawns a little eater thing. I think I got the heart from doing that, but oh well. Alright. Platinum pickaxe. So the bloodlust cluster swings like this. Let's go ahead and research our rotted fork. And the blood butcher air. Very nice. But, so the reason we want Deathbringer Pickaxe is for this little word right here. Able to mine Hellstone. So we can go to the Hellstone, or to, to heck as it were. and be able to mine some Hellstone for our final set before we go fight Skeletron. And around and around and around we go.
Bam. 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 Mason's very handy for uh, Skeletron and Wall of Flesh. God damn it, a goblin army. Well, better now than before I go fight uh, Skeletron and go into the dungeon. any traps or anything set up. That's right, just come on. Just come in. I'll, I'll just pummel you repeatedly. See if I can throw my thorn jaw from out there. Okay, not far enough. So then I just need to take the sword. That's right, you hit him with your swordfish. Lucky I don't have a means to set up dart traps and shit yet. But what I do have the means to do is something even worse for you. Little goblins. Put a door on there. <coughs> Since I don't have a lava bucket. We'll just have to do this the, uh, the fun way. <clears throat> Let's see, do I have a summon or anything? No, I haven't found the, the, the barkeep yet. Hmm. A little bit deeper. 
I don't know what that dude. Spiky balls do I have now? Twenty six. Idea. that shit out of here. Alright, y'all fall in the hole and then I can throw some spiky balls at you. Spiky balls are going to be very handy for this, I, I suppose. There we go. More spiky balls. Mash them up. Oh, my spiky ball wore off. Now, if only I had, like, a spiky ball trap instead of just having to huck random spiky balls. Superior. Oh, harpoon. Alright, Goblin Army defeated. It's a bit cheaty to use spiky balls, but whatever. Alright, with that we're going to go ahead and call it quits. Uh, next time we play we'll go and Get some hellstone, fight our way through the dungeon, that sort of thing.
What do you mean, what the hell? Also, are you are you considering uh, with? I just put it on just chatting. Are are you considering uh, if she's like sick or something, or are you considering if she just says she doesn't want to go? So it makes you think she's going to be sick and or not want to go. Well, that would be my concern, too, uh, given that it's a school day the next day, especially if you're going right after work, because I know you're going to be tired as, as all get out. So if you did book a hotel, you'd have to make sure you left and got her up to school by like 745 the next day. So, like, I, I get why that's uh, a concern. What do you mean you're just going to take me? I don't want to go. You should go and have fun with your sister. Besides, I'm probably going to be asleep all day. Like, don't get me wrong, I love spending time with you, dear, but... I would have had to have, like, already gone to bed if I was planning on going to Orlando tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. I don't have any problem with you going and staying out as long as I know you're okay, you know? But yeah, as I was saying, I have no problem with you, you know, going and spending time at a hotel and going and enjoying your time with your sister. Why would I go to bed early? I'm not going with you. Like I said, I'd have to be in bed right now if I, if I was planning on going with you. Worse than I, it shouldn't. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Why would I go again? You're 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 missing the point. Why why would I go to bed now if I'm not going to be going down there with you? Plus, every person who goes with you is an additional cost to get into the park. Not to mention, I. Yeah, I agree. Next time I see my doctor, which, if I'm not mistaken, is in June, I need to mention it.
But so yes, uh, as I was saying, uh, what I'm doing next is I'm going to go out for a cigarette and then I'll figure out what, what game I'm going to play on my own. Love you too, dear. Since you're the only one watching right now. Thank <laughs> you. 